Okay, that's all finished. Not all finished, but um, all dry. Okay, and I just stitched around. Um, yeah, I'm liking it. Of course, it is a bit cracked there, but I'm not worried about that because I must probably put some over the spine anyway. I'm not worried. Okay, um, I'm going to add a bit of ink now, but I'm liking the way that is, and I'm going to keep all the, the texture on there. I'm liking that. So, what colours have I chosen? So at the moment, I've chosen Distress in the Speckled Egg and the Oxide. I got the Distress Oxide in the Fossilised Amber and I got the Distress Ink in the Shabby Shutters. Okay, because I really do like these colours and I do want to see a bit of the text in the background. So we shall see. I shall go. I'm going to start off with, I can use my gel um, plate, but I'll do it this way for today. Okay. I'm just going to sort of start getting, building up a bit of colour. All right. And I it usually start off with the light one. Yeah, I'm going to do something totally different now. Let me soak that up. Right. Hopefully I've got some paper around me. Oh, napkin here. Let's have that. I guess we could use that and then stamp on it. Let's pick that up. I'm going to actually apply it to that project. Okay. I'll leave that there. And then a water then spritz it after. Okay. So I'm going to do that sort of thing. Yep. And a little bit of this one, which I like. Leave that for now. Okay. I will be adding more. It's just I'm going to build it up gradually. I'm just going to move this around with a bit of paintbrush. Okay, it's just to see what's happening. dry that off and then apply some more it's not totally dry because i don't need it um if you've got distress inks and oxide always use the distress ink first okay and then the oxide on the top not the other way around okay because this is not going to show on top of that all right so now i'm going in with the oxide blue or the speckled egg, I should say. Yep. Definitely want some more of this colour. I might have to do it this way. Okay. Just to get it in there. It's missing it, so...
Okay, that's looking better. So I'm making sure I got enough on there. So, right, uh, just gonna spritz it with water. Right. So, and give it a good dry. Okay, like that. Right, now I'm gonna use a tiny bit of gesso because I'm gonna use a napkin in sort of like places like here, a little bit around there, yeah. Just to create another bit of it interest. Oh. It will soak in. <laughs> Even though we did put a little bit to protect it, it's still quite porous. So I did notice that. Okay, that's good. And I'm not gonna worry about drying it because I'm gonna decoupage some something interesting like a nice flower or something like that in between bits. So I have some nice ones I really like. Quite like that one there. I am going to have a little look around. I like white backgrounds if I can so that I can see underneath. I just might have something a bit more modern rather than flowers um, or something. I'm quite liking that actually. That's not a white background. Right, I'm going to have a little look at my other stash. This is just spring, so. Okay, I think I've found the perfect napkin. And if anything, I don't even have to cut it out because I'm really liking the way that's looking. And I think because you're going to see the background through the white, You'll see some of that colour. So this is, you're going to lose a bit of this colour because it will blend in with the background. And I'm quite liking that. And that's sitting there quite nicely. So I'm just wondering whether that's going to look funny for me. Then. I don't think it looks too bad there, does it? So I don't want, you know, because it's a repeat pattern. No, I think I'll be all right. I'm going to go for it. I am definitely going to go for it. And I'm going to use, or oh, I won't use this one today. I'll use the, just a normal deco glue that I have been using because it's a big big area so oh, that's the watered down one two to one any PVA glue I think I said in the beginning anyway so I, I won't repeat myself again <laughs> size up the area that's what you call doing this with a bit of glue prepping sizing I need to move that out the way really there we go so it's that way, wasn't it? I sort of want to get those um, in there, make sure they're in there. Okay, I'm just going to fold that over a bit. Okay, you work nice and gently. You can stretch it out. As long as you don't press anything down until you're ready. That's that. And then, because it's such a big area, normally I don't worry about things like this, but. I think 
Mm. Okay. Okay. Quite busy, isn't it? I might even gesso over the top of that. <laughs> Let's see what happens. I was hoping to lose some of the colour <laughs> in the background, but I'm not sure whether it's going to work. Hey ho. I just keep going till I'm happy. It's just going to be, this journal's just going to be a mismatch of everything. <laughs> I'm just going to throw it in there. I really am. I'm going to do things up and show you what I'm doing. And I just fancy having a little play journal. I haven't got, because my other one's full up. I've done a couple of years ago, so it's, um yeah, bursting at the seams. I don't think I've finished it, but it's full. <laughs> You're not seeing any of what's at the background. I thought you would have done. This must be quite a thick napkin, this one. Okay. And we'll see what happens when that's dry. Can't really see any of the background. But I can see that the nice yellow is working. And that's great. So... The blue didn't. I could have done with the blue being a bit bluer, but then mm, I think it's working because it's lighter, if you know what I mean. Okay, All right, I'll just dry it off. Here we go. That's all done. Isn't it funny? You would have thought I'd known where the napkin was, uh, the, the napkin I was using, because look how that's worked out with that yellow behind each sort of major or big element. <clears throat> That wasn't planned at all, so I didn't even know what napkin I was using until <laughs> I'd done it. Um, you can just see the text behind it and uh, in the background there. So, yeah, I'm quite happy with that. Again, it's just a cover. Um, personally, I would, if you're really, really happy with the cover and you love it, then I would seal it. Okay, I'm not sealing mine at the moment because <laughs> I might get some gesso out and do something else with it later on i'm not sure okay because i wanted it more to be a sort of quite a grungy type journal but it's now floral <laughs> but hey ho <laughs> that's the way it goes uh, i've got another one so i really liked this napkin and then i thought oh it's too too romantic if you know what i mean very romantic looking very shabby chic so i thought no i'm not really doing shabby chic i'm doing like grungy and messy but it's still a nice cover to look at isn't it you know if you know what i mean um right i'm not stitching mine in at all i'm using one of the tn elastics that i have okay and all i do is it's quite easy really oh silly me sorry i've used a tn for a while <laughs> you just slip it on <laughs> Right, you can tie ribbon round it if you want to, because I just want to be able to remove my pages so that I can, you know, go to town on them. It's, mine's not quite dry, actually, so I'm going to have to be a bit careful. Okay. And then we can still work, you can still work on it, in, like it, like this, you know. And then, but we can just take bits out and work on them and that's that's what i want because i might want to do some stitching and and different things so i'm leaving it like that i can hide that at the back okay let's do the inside cover and then that's done then isn't it put that together right i might even Oh, might even um, stitch around again yet. Yeah. I haven't got any paints. <laughs> Not here. <laughs> um, I'm going to gesso first. There we go. Gesso and then we'll add some paint. <laughs> Let's just go mad. <laughs> I'm in the mad mood today, folks, so watch out. No idea what will happen. I usually use all my old paints up on this sort of thing, though. So. I actually quite like that. 
<laughs> but we're altering it, so we don't want it to look like brown paper at the end. Not now. Do you know what? <laughs> I'm going to leave that. <laughs> I'm going to get my brayer out now. I'm not going to wait for that to dry. I'm just going to brayer on the top of it. A bit of that. <laughs> oh, I'll get the little one. A tiny bit more control. This is where you have real fun and it doesn't matter fun yeah i know i'm showing you all <laughs> my doesn't matter fun but <laughs> and you might think oh my days what is she doing but hey ho just have some fun it's like going back to childhood you know, remember the days, nothing mattered, just adding a bit of paint to paper. <laughs> right, so I'm going to dry that off and I've got some other paint that I'll add on the top after that. Okay, let's dry. Okay, well, guess what I've got out? My Dilusions paints. And you know how bright they are. <laughs> That's why we don't really see them in... Um, like vintage junk journals and things, do we? But I am going to add some of that. I must probably just spray her over it as well. Okay, that's cool. Yep, like that. Now I'm going to overspray it with coffee. <laughs> and see what happens. If I don't like it, I just sew it. Um, do things like that. Oh, that's not coffee, that's water. <laughs> that's my coffee mixture. I usually make up um, two teaspoons with a cup full of water and then layer. And if it's too dark, I usually test it on a piece of white paper. If it's too dark, I add a bit more water. So I don't quite do, you know, it comes to about here. So I've got a little bit of leeway. And if it's too light, I add a bit more coffee. So that's what I do. I haven't, wait, I haven't dried that. But I don't need to. I'm just going to get a bit of that on there as well and this one well like lime green really fresh lime okay okay I'm gonna carry on with this now I'm gonna use this stamp set by in holtz and it's cms397 okay this is where i'm going to use a lot of my stamps in this sort of thing okay um i'm using Ex ground espresso and i'm going to over stamp it um yeah so i, I do like my playbooks i learn a lot about color this way and what works what doesn't work and I, I just i really enjoy that sort of thing so again i'm not worrying about how it stamps step straight <laughs> okay
and that's added a nice bit of contrast. Sorry, I need my um, stuff on that one. I've got one there on the go as well. I've got a couple of these on the go. And the good thing is, right, with not sewing in your signature, you see, if you do a background, if you're working on a piece of background and you actually end up really liking it, that can go in it. You can cut it down and you can put that in. So, it's a green, isn't that? <laughs> okay. Right, so I'm going to dry this off. Yeah, look. And, and then I'm going to get the gesso out. Okay, and gesso over it, back over some of it, leave some of it, and and then I think that might be all right. Yeah, I just need to heat set this a bit. Um, I think I'm going to brayer it. Sorry, I do like the brayer texture. So I'm going to just blob a bit here and there and down there. And like, if you've done um, gone over a bit and you want want to show it, okay, you can because you've heat set it. You can bring it back a bit. Okay, I was actually happy with that cover. <laughs> That's all right. Yep, like that. Okay, right now I'm doing a bit of vintage photo around the edges. And I'll most probably spritz it with water, yeah. So do this. Because we've got gesso on it. Let's see, that's just coming in nicely there now, see. It's, it will... Um, you know, if I want to get rid of it, I can in places. Sometimes. <laughs> it doesn't always work. <laughs> okay, let's blend that line out a bit there. A bit of um, <laughs> napkin there, so... Do you know what? And that sounds really <laughs> gonna add a bit here as well. Just want to spray it and have some um, different things going on, you know, water droplets. There we go. And then I've got the added texture going on there. Not a colour I would normally use. So 
that's what you got to do. Not definitely not the, the lime green. <laughs> uh, yes, in my art journal. <laughs> I'm brave. There we go. Yep. You can see all the different things going on now in the background. Yep. Lovely. And this is um this feels really great okay what what happens is if your mixture is too much glue and not enough water some of the things that you make can feel very crunchy yeah and stiff but you can you know maneuver them i haven't i haven't had to do that with this because this mixture is what right i think it was mod podge two to one in there it's absolutely it's so flexible okay but it's strong as well so it's great I, i'm not going to put any words on or anything it's because i'm not sure what i want to say <laughs> on that one but i might at a later date um i did have my insides in the <laughs> and that's going to go there so straight away that's this sort of like coordinating a bit, isn't it? In it, that's good English. Okay, I might do some more black stitching around it. Oh, why am I doing that? Andrew? Let's put this together. Okay, I'm down the back. I just thought I'd pop back on because I was as I was tidying up the the napkin from here, that bit was left. So I cut out the, the flowers and I arranged them like that. So I thought you would like to to see that. Okay, and then I stitched around again just to emphasize that really, make it look a bit stronger. So now I'm going. Alright. <laughs> I just thought I'd show you what I done there and I think that's worked out really well now. Okay, and I also, for the next thing, I this was, at the side of me, I just stuck some of these bits of paper I had left one day on a scrapbooking, you know, paper tag that had been cut out. And I thought I'd do a little flip there. Taking the envelope away, because if you look, I just felt that wasn't that, oh, I don't know, it might look right, actually. But then that's going to be a sort of pocket, so if you know what I mean. And then with a the flip, that's going to flip out. I'll see. I, I think it would be better somewhere else myself. So I shall move that there for now. Okay, so that's the next bit we're gonna do, I'm going to do. I shall do that flip and then the background there. Yep. Okay, now I'm going. <laughs> Bye.